Okay. And then okay. Yeah, found it. I am. Okay, I'm, I'm clicking to go live with you. I have accepted it. Okay, can you check your invite as well? Maybe it clicks from your side. Okay. I think it's unable to join. Let me try again. Oh my gosh. There we go. Here I am. Here Hello. I am. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. It's lovely to have you here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure. So. Where were we? Where were we before your internet? Crashed. Disappointing. It interrupted a very nice little flow. We were talking about feeling music, feeling. music, as well. That's all. Mm -hmm. we're talking about. I think I was, I was about to yeah. talk a bit about synesthesia, which is like the blending of your senses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. So, like synesthesia is kind of like a little bit kind of like what you were talking about with how you kind of see colors and associate colors with feelings and stuff yeah so like i mean synesthesia is like generally is like the, um, the blending of people's sense modalities so like people will hear separate stuff they will feel separate stuff but there are, there are certain people um who can where like their senses are not quite as separate into like distinct categories there's more of like a blending of the two like I know there's, I remember reading about someone who would taste shapes and stuff, you know, like they'll That's taste something so and be like, cool. yeah, like, wait, what? No, it's very, very real. It's, um, I know, I know. Like, oh, yeah. That's amazing. And like, they'll, they'll taste something and be like, oh, this is a smooth taste, or this is a jagged leaf taste. And then, um, and it's like, yeah, no, it's, and there's, there's loads of different, like, different varieties of like sensory blending, like, people may kind of like see certain like a, a color or around certain numbers for example like there'd be like one is this color and two is that kind of color i can do um, that yeah i'm sure you can all right yeah <laughs> it's like you just pop up and say, i can do that mm. i can do that like i think you're talking about a little bit about me yeah yeah well i probably am like i think you probably find like if you like did the psychedelic you would you would experience that sort of like that sensory blending, that kind of synesthesia to like a much more amplified kind of like level. Because um, that that seems to be what like psychedelics do. They kind of and they, even when they do like brain scans of people's brains when they're in like a psychedelic trip, they will see that you know there is this much more increased um, information transfer between different parts of your brain. So it's like different parts of your brain which often aren't really talking to one another, aren't talking to each other, like, much right. more. So, which creates just, like, a much more complex and, like, rich kind of experiential state, pretty much. For them. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, when you listen to music on the psychedelic, you know, it's a much more... Enhanced. Enhanced. Um, and slightly more intense, more aroused kind of experience, you know. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, go on and go deeper. Yeah. I know, like, this is like your topic to talk about, yeah. like, the psychedelic experience and like music. Like, I feel like you could go on for hours, so I'm going to let you. Cool. 
<laughs> this is exactly yeah. that kind of platform. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's kind of like it's. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had a, a strong psychedelic experience, not for you know a while, maybe like um, a few months ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I kind of. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't. Yeah, psych a psychedelic experience, like a, a big psychedelic experience, is something that you really do want to kind of like psychologically prepare for. I wouldn't right. recommend just dropping three tabs on a Sunday afternoon and think, well, oh, I'll just kill my ego for a bit. But um, I would have but, done that, but okay. You would have done that, yeah. That's because you're just reckless and. Crazy. No, no, I just trust myself enough, and I know my capacity. But yeah, I wouldn't no. do that with like anything. I was I, I would do that with ayahuasca. Yeah, I know you you kind of about that. It is, uh, uh, ayahuasca. That's uh, I'd imagine that that's a very like humbling psychedelic experience. Again, I think especially the. I think, I think we'll find easy. find out when we sort of kind of have that felt experience together because we're gonna try it and then yeah. we're gonna come back <laughs> and we're gonna watch this video <laughs> and laugh. And talk about it again. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, ayahuasca. I mean, I've only, I've only ever tried sort of um, DMT in its what's known as like a changa kind of form, form where it's like they will sort of um, mix DMT. Because DMT, when you buy it straight, it's like it's very fine, um, slightly off white powder. Mm -hmm. But some people they can prepare it into with other kind of like herbs so that you can. You can actually smoke it. You can put it in a pipe and stuff, and that's a, sort of the um, the variant which I've sort of had. What does it do? Well, it, it trips you. It gives you a trip. <laughs> what? <laughs> what <laughs> I mean? But basically, like, <laughs> I mean, I've I've only experimented with like with like low dose of it because I always reach a point where I'm like, shit, this is weird. So I'm kind of like <laughs> in a sort of a deep in between. Like, mm -hmm. the state. You're, you're, you're sort of, like, it's always it's always fun the um like you first smoke it and then you the taste is very distinct like DMT has a very distinct taste to it mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. it, it 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 tastes like something very ancient basically <laughs> and um and then in that <laughs> moment you're like no right, you just have to kind of um you know surrender kind of a bit you're like okay it's in my body now mm -hmm. and then yeah you know, I always, when I, the good thing about Changa is that you can kind of, you, you can go slowly with it and then reach a point where you feel comfortable with. Some people, when, they, when they're smoking it with um, just the fine powder, like they'll, they'll smoke it and then it's suddenly it's just like, whoop, they're like shot off. It's like a blast off, people often describe. Changa is more of a, a gradual kind of, like the, the initial stage is you're, you're the best way I could come to describe it is like, you know, the you, you have a certain like resolution of your your conscious experience of like 1080p, and then suddenly it's um enhancing in detail. You're like you're suddenly seeing more patterns, seeing all the all the stuff that are sort of Special. brain brain naturally kind of like filters out and um and like yeah, I I always, I mean, I, I've given you like. I've, Giving you like certain dis descriptions of like, yeah, like I always hear like um a kind of a kind of ringing of the a building, not a ringing maybe because it's more of like um it's not like a high pitched kind of like sound, it's more just like a zoom like um and then you're suddenly mm -hmm. you're very very there in the moment, like time always sort of freezes, and um uh, yeah like um, maybe. If I if I do it again, I'll probably like because I, I I reached the point where like my my egoic fear would sort of arise and like I, my ego was just sort of going oh my god like I can breathe so much deeper like you're feeling so much more of like the energetic mm -hmm. the version of energy throughout your body like you're it's almost like you're feeling your cells kind yeah. of and um, right. it's like sort of it just sort of accelerates you to a, a very very deep state of meditation or or yogic kind of energy opening just like that like just with the uh, the substance kind of and people mm -hmm. often talk about how you know i mean dmt is not something 
really external, it's something that's internal in our brain. We always have a certain level of mm -hmm. um, DMT kind of like circulating. It's just, you know, um, and people often speculate that like near death experiences, for example, right. or states of meditation, they're almost tapping into and um, in and amplifying our sort of like natural, um, our natural endogenous production of DMT. But like when you smoke mm -hmm. it, obviously you're just, it's like you're, you're consuming. Transported. Yeah. yeah. Consuming. Tell us about that, that feeling of like being shot out of your body. Like I want you, I want you to describe it for everyone. So they kind of get like a gist of that psychedelic astro experience, you know, because that's what it really is. It's not about psychedelics. It's about experiencing the realm that already exists pretty yeah. much. For me, it felt like it didn't, the, the very initial coming up, it didn't feel like I was shot out of my body. It was really just a disintegration of the 3D spatially extended world. Right. I didn't go anywhere. Wow. It was like, mm -hmm. me, like, like I, I took, told, I, I used the analogy of like, it was kind of like you're seeing with one eye and then suddenly you're seeing progressively both like the way a spider does with multiple different multiple eyes. Eyes. it's like and it's like oh and then I, I remember as it was like i i remember as i was coming up on it it was like i was i was staring in a very very, very like fine point i was kind of like lost in this sort of moment of just staring at this fine point and then suddenly it was like it and suddenly like around the, in the periphery it was kind of just enhancing kind of detail and like with a kind of, I try and recreate the kind of noise that I, that, that sort of aroused. It was like as it was kicking in, and like your my periphery was suddenly sort of dis, I don't whether disintegration is the right word. It's kind of just like just it's like dis association more, almost. Yeah, just, I don't know. The seeing like a much more resolution, more kind of like dimensions around kind of stuff. It's like it was kind of like it was kind of like the, the, the rustling of leaves kind of very loud mm -hmm. kind of. right like right crunchy kind of. i get that and then and then like as it was coming up i was like okay i'm gonna close my eyes basically to sort of and then as i closed my eyes kind of um you know, I'm, i mean yeah, i'm in that experience i was naturally sort of you know you're, you're breathing Thing, but mm -hmm. like you can feel your breath much more it's um there's a much more there's much, much more resolution to your breath it's like yeah but like we, we breathe normally and we're often we just sort of ignore our breath it's sort of kind of just there in the in the background but like as i was breathing and especially like you're smoking and you're breathing it in it's a very um right. yeah there's a very deep kind of like resonance to it and it's like I was feeling so much more of my, my internal bodily organs. It's like, it was like just sort of disintegrating all like the conscious filters that I have, which dissociate me from all the stuff going on mm -hmm. in my body mm -hmm. in a very, very quick kind of way. Like, I think like if, if you meditate for like a long time, low battery. Um, oh. like, yeah, like I said, it's like, it, it is like a very fast acceleration of what I imagine, you know, um, meditation can cultivate that in terms of that bodily awareness, you know, and that's why it's, you know, can be, it's, it is a very, very intense thing. It's just sort of, it's sort of just, yeah, it just totally dissolves like the, um, the solidity of all this, you know, spatial stuff, you know, and I get that you realize like, oh shit, it is all energy and vibration you know almost coalescing into the um the perception of form and the perception of solidity and objects and i remember like as i as i closed my eyes um i, I felt like i was acquainted with just a, a very expansive almost kind of like boundless um boundless kind of like field of energy kind of but um i, I and then in the very center of my sort of um, visual field, 
there was a kind of sense of being pulled into a kind of what I could describe as like a black hole kind of, which I, mm -hmm. I sort of assume is the the kind of entry point to the other side because I, I didn't right. I, I didn't break through at all. I kind of got a um, like I told you like before, like I kind of got a, a finger wag from the other side. It was kind of like right. look, because I was quite young, I was like 17, 18, just mm -hmm. fucking around with the thing. And um, and it was like, like there was, there was a kind of, um, I, I got like more sort of like visuals kind of, um, oh, this is hard to describe, but um, it's like- You're doing very well. Basically it's like, um, like you, you're, you're, you, you, you're closing your mm -hmm. eyes and you're, you're immersed in this sort of expansive field of like flowing sort of like energy and there's there's, there's, a, there's a slight form to the energy you can kind of discern certain patterns in the way it's like moving at you kind of right I remember, thing. yeah I remember feeling like the strong sense of some kind of presence of another the but it wasn't like i saw being. Like, yeah yeah like a being but it, i didn't see like a like people describe when they go to the other side, they will right. see like females, like clearly dis discernible kind of um, entities. What I entities. Have more, like, what I have more because I did like a low dose of just the general sense of a presence and the, the presence seemed to communicate. I interpreted it telekinetically as like a finger wag, as a kind of, you know, you need to know what you're getting yourself I into really. Exactly. Uh, and like, because I, I, I definitely like, I, when I was getting like, as I was closing my eyes, I was getting pulled deeper into like this sort of um, this black hole that I'd talk, talked about. Like right. I was looking in and it was like vibrating very loudly, like everything was kind of vibrating loudly. And then there was a point on me where I was like, I just opened my eyes. I was just like, fucking hell, you know, <laughs> kind of, you know, that was my ego sort of like reasserting. Yeah, picking up. 3D kind of world. And then it was like, I was looking around, I was still in my room. It was all just very fuzzy and like, still kind of like, you know. Feel it. Mm. Yeah, the effects. But then it, it wore off after like um, five, 10 minutes. And then I was just there. Back. Pretty, pretty fucking shit. I'm just going around <laughs> back in this sort of 3D kind of world. Back but, in um, the mortal world, yeah. right? Back in the 3D. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's not, I, I'm very, I, I have a lot of respect for it as um and i think like you know the thing like, i always think about i, I don't i'm not going to force myself to try it again more and allow it to sort of come back to me kind of when right. I'm ready because back then like either either the sort of experience that i was ready for in that moment kind of you know or i thought mm. was sort of like a glimpse of this this radical kind of unknown it's like and it's so, mm -hmm. it's extremely alien to anything that. Right. It's anyone. so alienated. Like, you don't know. It's the pure unknown. Yeah, right? exactly. Because, like, how do you imagine that? Like, you're just looking out into this, this world and suddenly your, your 3D spatially extended world just disintegrates. Mm -hmm. And then you're in a totally new place. It's like, well, especially from the perspective of your ego, which is used to being this sort of human organism and stuff like that you know it's extremely scary it feels like a kind of death you know but um it is and then around it is a death yeah literally it's, literally. A, it's a dying of that, sort of, that old fat self old self and, yeah and like i think if anything it taught me that i need to sort of cultivate more of the capacity to really surrender to that process of change of that that transition that into, door yeah the door it was like it the was a door. Door, portal and um and like because i've had like, like deep states with like meditation and like like sleep yoga where, yoga yeah you know, where you find yourself sort of sensing fine vibrations and stuff mm. and sometimes the ego will sort of flop up with a kind of a sense of fear like what the fuck is going on? You know, right. It's like, and then, and then it sort of that that captures your attention, and then you slink back and contract into the three D. So it's like, yeah, I, I guess, 
Yeah, it, it points me to stuff that I need to sort of like work on consciously, mm -hmm. I suppose, in order to yeah. sort of allow myself to, to open up and transcend. You know, Flow, yeah, flow through that resistance because it's, it's the emotions of fear that arrive to really stifle the flow, you know. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm in a much different place, yeah, um, consciously than when I well, last tried it. Before. Yeah. yeah, I was last experimenting with it like about maybe like two, two, three years ago now, so. Mm -hmm. It's to be continued, obviously, um, and uh, but yeah, yeah, because I had a period like of you know taking a break from psychedelics and working on like meditation, yoga, and stuff. But um, that was just to kind of, quite a journey, right? Yeah, it's a journey, and I'm still bloody on it, you know. And you're still so much more. Like freaking great. So, so, I, yeah, yeah, I, I think I've, yeah. Come, I've come far, but I You've know. come very far, Ryan. Don't downplay it. You've come very far. But like, I know there's still... There's More. Still, yeah, exactly. So I'm like... I know. I'm always looking ahead, if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm always... Because, yeah. 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 What you hear now. I'm here now. Yeah. But the, the journey's still going. Still, mm -hmm. a lot more to unfold. You know? Yeah, certainly, a lot more to unfold. Definitely, yeah. I'm sort of very excited to kind of have us both sort of journey into more of these psychedelic states and kind of bring out more wisdom for the people and kind of go back in those states and bring out the true essence, the true wisdom, and yeah. Mm. Ayahuasca, yeah. it's on my mind. I can't stop. Like it really is. I'm so excited. And there's no one I'd rather do it with but you. No. You just, I want to say, like you're just such a safe. You're like a psychedelic guide, if that makes mm. any sense. You, you, this, just, you don't have to be anything to be that guide. You just hold that frequency of safety and peace and nurturing that. People in your presence are easily able to access those states. You kind of unblock that kind of fear. You take away people's fear. That's your true light. Like, that's your true frequency. And I see us doing that on, like, this large scale, you know, because the only thing that holds you back from the entire ego death is fear. And if you eradicate that, you're, you're surfing. You're surfing astro, baby. Like, there's no stopping mm -hmm. to that. And for a person to be able to just be that comfort is everything. It's priceless, really. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, that. I think, I, 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 yeah, I, I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, it's I, true. Yeah, no, yeah, and I'm, I don't, because I have sort of, you know, yeah, but when you're, when you're, because I, I, my most of my psychedelic trips have always been like solo. Like I have tripped with like other people, and it's um like a number number of times, and it's a different kind of experience. Like you have the, you know, different energies, different mm -hmm. consciousnesses present, kind of. And, um, of course. And then, like you naturally have more sort of um yeah different things kind of come up. Well, like when I, I've always tend to sort of prefer you know solo trips when I was first starting out because it was very much just a very personal kind of experience with, you know, my own awareness. Like I was just like a little mini kind of like scientist or explorer, just like, you know, is this is a new thing. It's going to open up a, a new portal within my mind. Oh, no. And it's always something because you know me, I'm just, my, my curiosity is like insatiable sometimes. So even if it's like an illegal kind of thing, is shrouded in on this danger and this mm. myth and stuff like that. That just makes me more like, oh, I want to look into that sort of thing. And of course. With the, with the internet, you can, you can, there's so much really? stuff out there. And you mm -hmm. can see all the bullshit. And the bullshit is all the stuff that is making you not want to be curious about your own mind, you know. Exactly. And, um, so important. Yeah. And, yeah. Psychedelic, yeah. Like, psychedelic introspection. It's like, 
you know, it's no easy, it's probably one of the hardest things you can really do, kind of, I feel, because it is going to show you stuff, you know. Uh, it shows you but, everything. Yeah. Everything that you don't want to look at, everything that you haven't ever seen before, it mm -hmm. shows you everything you know and everything that you don't know. It's the all, pretty much. Exactly, exactly. And it's like, um, and it, it does definitely, like, I think it, it's always the, the, it's the ego who always claims to know. It's the ego who always... Yeah. <laughs> Things to ideas to identities to mm -hmm. it's sort of it's kind of like illusory kind of like safety and comfort a clinging to something but then like a psychedelic just it it, it slightly it's cuts through by, um, yeah by amplifying your experience so that you see that your your ego isn't everything it's kind of just this this small little boat it's a small yeah. boat seeing on this just sort of really expansive kind of ocean of consciousness and um and that from the perspective of like the ego if the if people if one's awareness is still contracted within that sort of like egoic kind of sense of reference it can interpret all these psychedelic transformations with a real sense of fear with a sense of i'm dying but what is really dying is you know your your false self you know false self yeah yeah and and when one is able to truly surrender to that process what what comes out the other side is kind of like this this deep kind of like silence and tranquility mm -hmm. really where you are in the moment you know and um you know, you know it's um and it's interesting with with psychedelics there's so many different le there's so many different levels to it you know and you know I, you you, you discover the levels obviously by you can either combine like meditation with it to sort of more consciously guide yourself if you i mean what i mean there's it's interesting yeah, like terence mckenna who's like a famous terence like, mckenna. Psychedelic. yeah he's 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 i know he's, him yeah he's a very I know famous sort of what teachings wow funny how you you said that yeah, okay terence, go on i recommend looking at well, terence mckenna he he was famous in like you know from like the, the 80s and 90s for like popular, uh, popularizing dmt especially and as well like like um, consuming mushrooms and he, he'd often sort of almost like um advocate this kind of what's called like a heroic dose of microphone mushrooms where you would take like four or five grams of mushrooms in with a with a blindfold and just simply just yep. sit in silence for like five to six hours and then see what unfolds like I, and I, everything unfolds yeah and it's right very, like with if you're putting on a blindfold then it's very much a strongly internal experience and um, i haven't done that yet it's something that i want to do i don't think i've got you want to do that eventually, mm -hmm. eventually. i mean I'm, I'm under no illusion that it would be a very um intense experience i but, um, think i'd do it with you i think yeah, i'd just good. do it yeah, I think we should do it. Yeah. We should try it without mushrooms first and then add mushrooms to it. But like, yeah. But yeah, it would be... It would be intense for yeah. us, right? I mean, you know, but it's, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I've taken four grams of mushrooms before and I remember I showed you on like what I called like what I wrote yeah. out. So still you wrote like, such a beautiful, like, enlightened little consciousness. And it feels like, yeah, you are sort of, you're, the mushroom is almost speaking through you at that moment. You're becoming like a muse. And, um, and yeah, it's weird, like, hmm. yeah, I, I feel like I haven't lost that sort of that, that sense of being able to like to channel the, exactly. the ideas. It opens exactly. Up that That's what I said. That's why I wanted to really bring focus in like you're, you're channeling, you're straight mm -hmm. channeling, even right now. I think it's like, yeah, it's like, it's almost like a, it's a permanent change, which I think that, you know, the, the psychedelics for me was like the, um, the first, like, initiat initiatory thing that opened up that. It was like the first, like, initiatory thing that opened up the portal of like, whoa, the 
present moment um, and when you pay attention to it and through like meditation yoga slowly sort of purify your mind and your experience to mm-hmm. get out those get rid of those sort of going to the webs and yeah stuff, and then open yourself up to be more receptive to i suppose you might call it the guy and kind of the guy in mind you know the mind yeah. of everything and psychedelics are just a portal of initiation when you really see it you know mm-hmm. and like yeah i feel like yeah i mean so i've mentioned to you how i'm going to be restarting my sort of um my exploration of these sort of altered states to look deeper after taking like a little break from them for a while and um you know i'm quite looking forward to that it's um it is a way of uncovering deeper patterns within your mind um like in the deeper almost like causes of things in your mind you know we're we're often just so only aware of the the effects of what's appearing and many of us don't have the um the willpower or even the, the exactly or the the um the desire to look deeper into okay what deeper. is yeah what is generating these these thoughts what what is generating these feelings what are those deeper patterns exactly yeah it's a nice hook it's a nice hook for people to kind of go and dive in deeper because a lot of us kind of sort of just stop at this point when we know something and then we think we just know it all mm. but that couldn't be further from bullshit or like illusion right you kind of need to go each time you hit a depth there's a lot more depth mm. to hit like that's just the starting point so i feel like this is sort of this enlightenment that we're sharing is sort of like an encouragement for people to basically just dive in deeper there's so much more to even that which you already know there's like a whole new level each and every single time that's mm. growth that's like self mastery there's mm. so much beneath even when you think it's like ocean floor another whole ocean to like discover and i find that just fascinating it's just it's never ending the quest the discovery self the universe it's just infinity it's just never ending and when you get used to that feeling that's abundance never ending just like it's abundant it's it's source energy imagine tapping into such a powerful force it's just it keeps going on there is no end do you understand like how do you fathom something like that it keeps going on forever i know It's, I know. It's, it's eternal and it's timeless. It's, it's like eternal. It's just it. It's a cycle. It's just winding down and down and down into it never reaches a definite that point. point. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> it's like when people something that always boggles my mind like my conceptual mind is just thinking about trying to pinpoint where exactly is the present moment, you know. And people Right. people think in times and sort of linear times and sort of moving linear time through the present into the future but like that's a kind of illusion because there is only the moment but when like exactly. we point to where the moment is like is it a span of a second a tenth of a second mm-hmm. a hundred a thousand a million it's infinitely small and yet right in terms of it you know everything's arising at and like in math, mathematics if we if we see something is it's like tending towards zero it's infinitely small we say it's essentially almost zero it's essentially like nothing and yet everything is arising in this strange void or this strange nothing that's you know exactly that space mm. that's like a portal like, mm. and, and like it's come back to like dmt it's <laughs> like dmt See the the drone that people often hear. Like if you hear, like the the drone is something that I think is it's a it's a constant background note in like sort of um Indian music, for example. I think it originates from like constant mm, frequency, and it's like it's always there, it's ever present, and it's like 
it's an ever present almost quality of your experience and it's like dmt it sort of tunes and emphasizes that vibration which tunes you okay you're at my attention is here in the now and it can't possibly go anywhere the vibration is so intense mm -hmm. um, and i also find as well like like this is a, a tangent on the tangent but like when i get sort of um certain vibrations arising during like deep states of meditation or in certain psychedelic trips i find mm -hmm. that if i orient my attention to that vibration that sound that that hum which may arise it will emphasize and enhance that 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 sensation and yeah. always in it to act as like a kind of portal or like a conscious transition you're into, tapping in yeah. you're tapping into that yeah the frequency and it's like mm, like it, it, i'm just thinking right now like what like like if we if we sort of like zoom in on like the um the conscious experience of transitioning to a higher level or to an altered reality or whatever like is it the the vibration the frequencies those sounds that arise are they the kind of do they sort of are they the portals kind of and then when we orient they are to it, yeah yeah it's weird like no one talks about this i went to university for three years no one fucking talks no about one this. I, talks about I, that because that's not taught that's original observation what yeah. you just spoke about was a very original observation yeah. and if it's not taught like we aren't taught to like go outside and follow curiosity we're just taught to be taught yeah i know and it's like it's making me because I, I remember studying like philosophy of religion as well like my modules in um, yeah. university yeah. and like no one was talking about it was like there's this kind of weird aversion to mysticism like yeah or to, to actually talk it was like it's so hyper conceptual and so caught up in this this world of abstraction i'm just like thinking what the fuck you know it's um like we're talking about philosophy of religion we're talking about god we're talking about all these states of consciousness but we're not actually talking about it we're talking, talking about, about it yeah we're talking about talking about it we're talking about the thoughts exactly we're not talking about, about it yeah, like exactly. it it right remember, yeah i remember like yeah. writing essays for it and I, i'll be talking about it it's like circling around but never hitting the spot yeah, exactly and it's just um, that's annoying it is annoying yeah it is, annoying. It is. Be quite annoying. you must express our annoyance yes i'm annoyed yeah but i'm also <laughs> excited i'm also curious you know it's like mm -hmm. I, I can't really i don't really get annoyed nowadays i don't know like I, sometimes but that's I because you're on a high frequency you can't harbor lower frequencies like annoyance yeah. Annoyance is a very lower frequency. Your body will not sustain that frequency. Mm -hmm. You're very at a high frequency. Mm -hmm. Same with me. I don't get annoyed, angry. It just it doesn't exist in our bodies anymore. We've ascended. That makes sense, actually. We are ascending. Believe even when I get goofy stuff or people say goofy things, I'm kind of just yeah. There's no there's no capacity for it to hang on to me. Exactly. Um, I guess that's the, that's just you don't really notice the the um the exact point when that happens. It's more like a gradual kind of process of your passing running, through. You know, but yeah, but yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to see where it will ascend to even more. You know, mm -hmm. these these crystals that you encourage me to get, whether well, they'll be uh, yeah. Well, yeah. tell yeah, us tell us more about this little molder white that I recommended to you. The molder. How's it? How's it working? Well, show us. Oh, it's in the little finger box. So what? So what? Beautiful. Get it out of its home. It's in this like little. We get the dress. dress. That's good. It's there. Uh, you know, I've just been wearing it today. Wore it to my my workout. It's quite nice. Just have a little. Yeah. I, it is. I, I I don't know like how. Yeah, it's very weird to kind of like look for what sort of effects that it's like having. Like, I mean, maybe I've been channeling kind of more, and I've been more grounded. We'll get you on the next next podcast and have you literally channel.
throw the stone. Oh. This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Definitely. We're about to do bigger, bigger topics now. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna be channeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Well, do that. Cheers to that. To Cheers. what is ahead. To that. Cheers. Cheers. Fist bump the camera. But then I must go and get food because I'm like yes. on the brink of starvation. Of course. Right well, thank you. This was wonderful. And yes, we'll be doing a lot more. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Joy. Oh, thank you for coming. Oh. Bye. Until next time. Until next time. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.